Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Zoom enthusiasts want to link your Gmail account with Zoom for seamless scheduling? You are in luck. Today we will show you how to connect Gmail to Zoom in 2024. Whether you are hosting virtual meetings or managing webinars registrations, today we will show you how to seamlessly connect them. So let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, as always, we need to talk about the requirements for this video. So for this video, we simply need our email, which is the Gmail account. That is very simple to get. You simply have to head up to Google and then you will have here sign in button. Instead, I have now the login. For you guys, you simply have to sign in. Then you will have to simply create a new account in case you didn't have one already. In case you had one, it's pretty easy. You simply just have to sign in and you will be good to go. Now, the other requirement of this video is to have Zoom. Now, Zoom is this app, as you can see right here, this is the app of Zoom. So, to get it, you have to simply click on sign up for free. When you click on sign up, you will have to go through the process of putting information from email, etc, etc. Now, to save all of that and to actually make your Zoom account link to your Gmail directly, well, what you can do straight away from the moment you are trying to create your account is to actually sign in using Google. When you are signing in using Google, you are actually synchronizing and connecting Zoom with Gmail. So as you can see here, if I click on continue, now I am signing into Zoom using my Gmail account. And as you can see now, it will be connected to my Gmail account. So whenever I'm trying to schedule a meeting, whenever I'm creating something in Zoom, the actual announcements or the scheduling will be sent to me as an email to my Gmail account as an in inbox. So I can get the reminders and get all the news about it. So this is the part of people who didn't have an account with Zoom already. Now I know guys, you are, you are here, some of you are here or most of you are here for the fact that they already own Zoom accounts, they already have a lot of scheduling and meetings coming up in a few days and they want to connect their Gmail ASAP as possible. Don't worry guys, I got you covered. So what you could do is to go for example to either do two things. You either can make it from here so you go from apps and add an extension or you can use an actual alternative solution which is going to be zapier in our case for this video so here with zapier it is a third uh, application that will be required for you guys for those who have already an account with zoom that it has been created without uh, gmail so what you have to do is to click here click right there and simply go and log in with your gmail account once more and after that click on continue and your account will be signed in successfully now we need to do some couple of things before we get started the first thing is we need to add some apps so click on apps right through here and then search for the two apps that we need to actually cover in this video the first one is pretty obviously gmail so you simply have to go to gmail click on connect add connection and choose your account to be connected so i have one already here let's check if it is connected successfully and still the connection working so let's click here um <coughs> let's check the connection continue hello and yeah now we simply have to test the connection and the test has been done successfully let's go with another app so let's go here apps let's search for the other app which is going to be in our case zoom so we simply have to search for zoom and as you can see here here it is zoom it is in this area we simply have to click on connect and you have to go and connect your zoom accounts so here a lot is up to use etc etc no problem no worries and then that's the connection so we can know that the connection has been made successfully and everything is done correctly now let's check our inbox for any news any inbox that has been sent for us so here it is zoop app here it is we have added zapier app for your account this is exactly what we wanted so now we have zoom connected with uh, Zapier and Gmail connected with Zapier and for those who doesn't know what Zapier does it basically an automation program it is an automation platform that will help you to make automation or connect to different apps without having the option of connecting these apps inside of, of them so for example here I'm just gonna click on create and then I'm going to create on zaps click zaps and here we go so here we simply have to click and create a prompt or write a prompt so a prompt is basically what you write for an AI to understand what you want already so what's the purpose of you connecting Gmail with zoom so here I'm gonna write whenever there is a scheduling 
added to my zoom account send it to my gmail and alarm when or and remind me three days before it comes so there we go let's click on enter and now we simply have to wait for the ai to actually understand what we actually wanted from them so it could take a lot of uh, times depending on the actual prompt that you have given to them so here it is this is the prompt that the actual bot has answered us with so this is my message and this is the actual answer from bot so okay here is your job outline new meeting in zoom send email in gmail the email uh, delay uh, until the delay by Zapier sent email in Gmail. So let's click on this one in this one. And now, as you can see, let me just add it. So now, as you can see, we have these two uh, add ons. So let me just add this one. All right, perfect. So here, I'm going to choose my account, which is the account that I have logged in, which is the account that we have added in the app area. Here, we have to fulfill some fields, uh, continue, and we need to test the trigger in case uh, it didn't, it wasn't working. There's no worries. Let's skip the test. So here, as you can see, skip test. Since my account is brand new, there's no schedule, there are no meetings, so I'm just gonna skip it and yeah there we go so it is done let's click on continue and here we go now we have to add gmail so let's change and choose our gmail an event uh, reply to email send email continue choose your account continue and here simply just fulfill the information that has to be done uh, uh, like for example to whom you want to send this email the cc the bcc the from to whom the subject etc so this information that might have to be uh, manually uh like felt by you it has to be as you said as i said felt uh, exactly how it needs to be and they will give you here like uh, some uh, data that you could answer automatically since the data is going to be sending from meeting to meeting so you could simply just give them like a specific data that will be changing for example i want meetings so you simply have to go for meetings and simply just add it here and it's gonna whenever there is a meeting it's gonna be changing depending on what kind of thing you would like and then click on continue and then of course you have to add action number three and action number four and once you are done with this connecting you simply have to go for publish which is last here in the top right corner click on publish and then of course it's gonna be uh, working you simply have the last thing to do is to turn it on because it's gonna be turned off after that you gotta be simply good to go and with that you have successfully created your first zap and now your gmail account is connected with your zoom account just make sure that you have enough task for all of your scheduling and yeah guys that was it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to our channel